Russia's defense ministry plans to enlist around 20,000 people currently held in pre-trial detention to fight in Ukraine, the investigative news outlet Important Stories Media Outlet reported, citing anonymous military and legal sources. According to a military official who spoke to Important Stories, efforts are already underway to identify who among the thousands of defendants awaiting trial might be fit for military service, with 40% expected to be taken. The enlistment plan reportedly involves selecting 100 defendants from each of Russia's 210 pre-trial detention centers. iStories, citing federal prison statistics, noted that 106,000 people were held in pre-trial detention as of early 2024, though that figure includes individuals under investigation and convicted criminals. The reported plan comes a week after federal lawmakers passed legislation allowing criminal defendants to serve in the military, closing a loophole that previously limited enlistment to convicted criminals and suspects under police investigation. Those changes now face a single vote in the Federation Council, after which President Vladimir Putin is expected to sign it into law. Sources told important stories that authorities are targeting criminal defendants to avoid sparking public unrest with a new wave of mobilization. A source close to the military's general staff said the defense ministry turned to criminal defendants after running out of convicted prisoners willing to volunteer for the war in Ukraine. At the same time, according to one of the lawyers, even before the law was passed in Moscow, there was no shortage of people willing to sign a contract with the Ministry of Defense in any of the pretrial detention facilities. According to lawyer Dmitry Zakhvatov, the penal colony and pre-trial detention center are also recruiting people to sign a contract with the defense ministry by tightening the conditions of detention. Zakhvatov links the active recruitment campaign to the authorities' reluctance to announce a second wave of mobilization, the publication writes. At the same time, there is information that the number of prisoners ready to go to war is decreasing. They say that prisoners are not an endless resource. Therefore, the decision to send defendants to the so-called SVO indicates a decrease in the influx of prisoners to the front, in particular those convicted under light articles, those who do not have long to do time are not very eager to go to the front line. Сколько людей? Больше роты. Больше роты? Да. Позиции, дальше ваши позиции, да, блин, даже идут. Сколько звездометров? Не понял. Фигун, 
Бачив сзади, він, сука, ліпьоха. An apparent Israeli airstrike hit central Beirut early Monday, for the first time in nearly a year of conflict, witnesses said. The strike near the Kola intersection, a major transportation hub, hit a multi-story residential building, according to an associated press journalist at the scene. Videos from the scene showed ambulances and a crowd gathered under the building, where the strike appeared to have targeted one apartment. In the past week, Israel has frequently targeted Beirut's southern suburbs, where the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah has a strong presence, but had not hit locations near the city center. The area where the strike took place is a primary Sunni district with a busy thoroughfare lined with shops and residential buildings. There was no immediate comment from Israeli officials.